So hey, here I am in some of the shea forest around Dormo. You can see plenty of shea trees. Uh, there's Benson who works with us and, uh, and Nicholas who's our manager of operations for, for Northern Ghana. But you can see, you can see a lot of natural regeneration. A lot of these are small uh, shea trees. But here is, uh, here is one and you can see the the fruits coming. I let me just make sure that this is working. You can see the shea fruit, lots of it. So it's still probably a couple weeks from ripening. But yeah, Nicholas, pull one down so I can. Don't. You know, you can see the see the shea fruit there. So what will happen is these will ripen, and then they will fall from the tree. Benson just yeah. picked one up, a small one, yeah. that fell. But they will fall from the tree. And because we are just ending the dry season, there's not a lot of vegetation. So they will fall from the tree and the women and the collectors will come and they will pick them and then they take them back for preparation. So they will parboil them and then crack the nuts and get, get the shea nuts. And it's all done organically and in organically controlled areas. And as you can see, this is a wild, wild area here so it's naturally organic and and it's certified we certify all of the all of the picking areas so this is where the fruit comes from that starts the the process to the to the shea butter and this tree and the trees like it provide so much income and sustenance for communities baraka's operations alone impact more than 6,000 households in Northern Ghana and provides a big portion of their annual cash income. But Baraka doesn't do that on its own. Baraka does that because of you. Baraka does that because you buy Baraka butters and oils. Baraka is able to support that because your customers buy your products. So we're all part of this virtuous supply chain that provides great ingredients for making products, great ingredients for making things that are wonderful for your skin and hair and, and health. And at the same time as it's doing that, it's providing economic uh, income for women and families and support to their children. So this, this little, where is it? That little shea fruit that will soon get ripe and uh, probably be eaten, if not by people, then by bugs and animals will eat the fruit and the nut inside will turn into shea butter and soon it will turn into lotions and soaps and ointments and, and other great products.